What's up guys? Welcome back. Diving off the boat again. We've got Daniel and Fletch. G'day guys. The boy who cut his chin. <laughs> Let's see look at those stitches. I've got two stitches. Woo. So hopefully the viz is alright because it's been a bit windy these past couple days, but we're gonna hop in now and we'll see you in the water. Woo! So we hopped in and yeah, the viz definitely wasn't the best. However, that wasn't gonna stop us from diving. Anyway, on this dive, a snapper came right up to me, which was pretty cool. But unfortunately, there's still the bang going on. On this dive, I was looking around for a school of yellowfin pike, as I'd seen them on the previous dive. After looking around for a bit, I spotted the school off in the distance, sitting next to a bommy. So I slowly swam towards them, tried not to spook them. I managed to get nice and close to them, so I lined up my shot and... But at least Daniel managed to shoot one. After that, we couldn't find the school again, so we moved to another spot. And once again, I shot too low and I missed another pike. Daniel spotted this cool little shark, which we'd never seen before. And it turned out to be a very carpet shark. We moved spots again, just cause we weren't really seeing anything worth shooting. And I came across this boar fish and went down to just film it. But while I was down there, I couldn't resist not shooting it as it was already midday and I hadn't shot anything yet. Anyway, I missed it somehow. So I took it as a sign that I should just leave it for next time. I guess I hadn't learned my lesson from what happened back in episode 23 when I did the exact same thing. But like Dr. Bill Go says, it takes a lot of skill to miss a boar fish. Fletch must also have a lot of skill because he also missed the boar fish. However, he was trying to shoot one with a sweep at the end of his spear. He made up for it though by shooting the monster 50 centimeter one. Oh, dude, like, you're really gonna pop. That's a good size one. A few hours had passed and we hadn't really come across anything else worth shooting. So Fletch and I decided to settle for some sweet just so we had at least some fish we could take home. I came across another boar fish, and this one I decided to take. The day was coming to an end, so we slowly started heading back to the boat ramp. And on the way, we stopped to try out one more spot, but the viz was horrible. However, after looking around for a while, I came across another school of pike. And this time, I did not miss. I also managed to shoot another pike on my next dive. However, my GoPro wasn't recording. I was feeling pretty exhausted after shooting those two pike, but decided to have one more dive. And on this last dive, I came across a school of snoot. And once again, I didn't miss. The snook also ended up being 71 centimeters, which was a PB for me. Myself. That's a nice one. 
Yo, give us an update, Fletch. Oh yeah, we've had a 12 hour day in the water, it's been not bad. And what did we get today? Oh, probably about 45 sweep, a couple of snook. <laughs> World record size glory. Ooh. Shot by Ethan. <laughs> Look at his snook. Man, it's like an eel. Look at that. Two meter snook. <laughs> Three meter flooded. <laughs> it's been a good day, hasn't it, Daniel? Yeah, it's been pretty good. Pretty good. And we're going to head back in now. Woo! Right guys, finally made it home. And I have my, my rat dad over here. So we've got some fish here, a nice snook, and the bori, some pike, and then some, what are these? Some sweep in there. Gonna fill it up now and then crash because I'm absolutely exhausted. Meanwhile, my dad's gonna watch TV all night because he's lazy. Going to bed. But you'll see me tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the EJC kitchen. I am still absolutely exhausted. We were out in the water for 13 hours yesterday. What the? But today we have some snook, pike, and the bullfish. I'm just gonna fry it up using the, the classic Himalayan salt, chili and garlic. And I'm gonna give it to my parents and have them rate which fish they think is best. So let's get into it. So the first fish is gonna be the snook. I didn't bleed it, but I don't know if that's why the meat's a bit gray, but let's do this. There's one, a snook. I can't tell what's what anymore. That's four fish. Pike, 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 pike. And I think this is snook as well. <laughs> smells nice so far. I guess anything fried smells nice, but looking forward to trying snook because I have not tried it yet. Next, we're going to put on the pike. Hopefully that does not stick. Let's see if it's got enough oil. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yum. And lucky last, the good old boarfish. Mm. Are you ready to try the fish? Yes. <clears throat> yes. Yes. The first fish you guys need to try is this this one these ones here this here oh it's nice it's firm oh we're waiting well we'll rate them from one to three but oh what, this is the same is it yeah what do you think of it mm. this one tastes like tastes like what regular fish nice no, not too fishy yeah okay and the next fish this one here Tastier? Tastier? Mm. Tastes like fish. What? <laughs> what do you mean? I prefer like the first one. The first one? What about you, Mum? Um, well, this one you can't tell it's fishy, but was, I mean, if. Yeah, it tastes a bit like squidish. This is a fishier taste, nicer. And lucky last, do you guys know what fish this is? No idea. This, this one's is firm. This is firm. Maybe this I, maybe is, I, maybe this I is like a stingray of some sort. But this is thicker. Maybe I overcooked it, I don't know. Mm. Good for curry. It is a bit tougher. Uh, maybe I overcooked it. <laughs> I'd rather overcook than undercook. My favourite still. What do you reckon, Dad? What do you think of this one? I do like fish. Mm. 
I think between these two, I like between these two. I didn't. That one, the taste was too strong for me. You didn't like this one? So, Mum, rate yours from one to three. One being the best, three being the worst. This is tough. Well, I like the texture. I think one, two, three. This one tastes a bit buttery. Maybe that's why I don't like it. Really? One. Sorry, Ethan, I had to pick up flavor. One. Thanks for two, cooking. Three. Three. I like this one. The texture is nice. I like it firm. So. All right. My time. Ouch. Have you tasted it yet? No. So, this one here was the Snook. Snook is a skinny one, is it? Mm hmm. Mmm. It's good, but it tastes a bit fishy though, the Snook. Let's try this pike. I didn't like the pike as much. I'm just going that top. I definitely prefer the pike better than the Snook and then the boar. Which one? This is the boar. Boar, yeah. I think you don't like the boar. I didn't say that I didn't like the boar. But then, oh, the three. I reckon my favorite one's the pike, then the boar, and then the snook. They're all surprisingly really nice though. I like them all. I'll definitely shoot them more all again. This one would be good for curry. Mm. Mm. Nice. Well done, Ethan. Thank you. All right, guys. So that's it for the episode. I hope you guys liked it because it was a very tiring episode to film but i had a lot of fun though make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more from me and i'll see you next week peace chili crab and then money Wait. oh my <laughs> oh my oh my